Hi, um, welcome to Bird Math once again. Okay, um, so we're covering um, functions and introductory calculus. Okay, we're going to be covering um, rates of change in this. Alright, so um, for those of you that have watched the uh, previous video, we looked at a um, an example of uh, plant growth. Right, and that plant growth was constant, right? Um, it had a constant rate of change of 0 0.5 kilograms per day. And then, we, so um, with that, <coughs> we could see that for each day, um, it simply increases by um, that 0 0.5 amount. All right, so then growth. Um, so then it ended up looking like this, right? So day one, uh, 0 0.5, day two, one, day three, uh, 1.5. Okay, and that was that was constant. And, uh, and then we ended up working out that the function would have been y equals 0 0.5x, which is this red, okay? Y equals 0 0.5x right, for y and x. Okay. Uh, and and we worked out 0 0.5 by going, oh well we know that the general formula for a um, a linear function is y equals mx plus c and we know that m is equal to the change of y okay over the change of x which ends up being um, y2 uh, take y1 uh, divided by x2 take x1 right and so this is this is the change um, and and m is what you call the slope okay so there's a constant slope a constant rate of change right um, slope Alright, now here's where we, when we get into some new stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize that and I'm going to um, uh, show another function, right? And then we're going to um, see that there's an, as a problem with this when we don't talk about um, linear functions, okay? So um, we're going to uh, graph a quadratic function. Alright, now so if, if so we know that uh, the quadratic function is represented by y equals x squared, right? And then if we if we plot um, or um, have a table of values, okay? So um, yeah, so for x equals one, two, three, four, we get values of um, uh, what is it? Two, four, uh, nine, sixteen, okay? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to um, use this and we're going to see if this holds, okay, for any um, two points, right? So, so what about if we go, all right, y2 is equal to, um, is equal to 9, okay? And y1, y1 is equal to uh, 4 x2 so x2 of 9 would be 3 and x1 of 4 would be 2 okay and then we end up getting this value I'm just gonna like this okay guys um, we end up getting this value uh, m is equal to uh, 9 take 4 divided by 3 take 2 Oops. we take 2 and then what do we get? we get um, 5 over 1 and then we get 5 All right. so what we're going to do is we're going to plot this uh, so, so for y y equals 5x right? Um, so graph new td function y equals 5x right 
So I'm getting this huge function, right? right. And it sort of it sort of seems to line up with the quadratic, but yeah, it doesn't it doesn't hold much water. Alright, what about um so that's so uh for x equals three and two. So what you do is you zoom out, um, and then you'll see eventually that it does cross. Uh, it's x equals Where was that by? Oh, okay, so So yeah, it's gone five times um three. It should be fifteen, okay? Yeah, fifteen three. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that doesn't really work, does it? Um, as much. So, all right. What about? Um, so we'll call this M one. What about M two? So we'll choose two other points. So let's go. Um, Let's go four and two. Okay, so so what is that? That's y two. Y two is sixteen minus four, and we go divide by um, four minus two. So this should hold. This should hold for any two points along the line. Okay. All right. So then we got uh, twelve divided by two. That's six. It's even steeper, isn't it? Right? And then, yeah, you graph that and it's like, whoa. Um, 6x. It's even steeper, it's crazy. Right? Um, so, one, six, two, blah, blah, blah. But then, so. What, but the idea is that um, if you draw a line, it should line up, okay, with whatever it is. But we can see that um, it keeps increasing the amount that it changes, doesn't it? So, uh, so here we got two, then we got five, then we got um, what's the difference between nine and sixteen? Uh, five. So, yeah, two, two, five, then five, and then five again is 25. So what is that? Five, 25, and then you got nine, two, five, five, nine. It's bizarre, right? It just keeps increasing. So then this M is increasing as well, isn't it? So the rate of change increases. So. That's that's pretty much what, what I want you to get from this is that um, so other fun uh, so if if the function isn't isn't linear um, the rate of change is isn't constant. Okay. E.g. Um, quadratic functions. Okay. So the formula. Let's copy it and cheat. Doesn't work. Uh, I'll leave it there for now.